What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Don Machi. Now, today's an interesting one, because as try as I might, I just don't really have the team for this event. So I really don't have a team I can show you, at least not one that's been producing. Uh, we will be doing live streaming tonight here in just a few minutes. That said, let's talk about Family Royale enemy number two, and then if you guys want to join me in the live stream, We'll actually be, uh, shortly after this, this video goes live, I'll start the live stream and then uh, we'll build the team on live stream. Um, and we'll have to, unfortunately, some summons. I've been saving some Iris. I've been doing pretty good, but it looks like I can't just ignore it anymore. I've got to summon for some of these new units, sadly. Um, now, that said, let me just, before I get into this, explain. You may not necessarily be in the state that I'm at, or... If you have a really great team for enemy number one, you can be just as effective producing a score for enemy number one if it's a good score and still help out your familia. So if you're in my shoes right now, and I think a magic thunder team would be a hard one to pull off, uh, especially with phantasma killers. But that said, if you're in this state, probably let, then focus on enemy number one if that's kind of your better score. If you can get a bigger, better score out of that, then definitely do that before you go into enemy number two. You don't necessarily have to do it in this order. Like, in other words, whatever your best score of the day is, that's what's really going to matter for your familia. So if nothing else, get in a really good score in enemy number one if you can't produce for enemy number two. Because this is this is one that I've had a tough time with. Now, let's talk about this, this enemy before uh, we get too off topic here, okay? A Woman's Fury, Phantasma Killer is effective, so you do want to use Phantasma Killers for this. Uh, enemy Skills, Self, increases Endurance, Agility, Dex, Strength, and Magic Resistance. So Strength and Magic Resistance, and increases Damage received single target. So in other words, once again, single target is uh, diminished quite a bit. So that's a thing. Foes, Plural, decreases Physical Resist and Seal. So, once again, it decreases physical resistance and seal? I'm guessing that means that they actually seal. Um, doesn't mean they decrease seal. It means they basically drop your physical resistance and they'll seal you. So you want to make sure that you're using seal anklets on this event or someone that does anti-seal. You want to make sure you don't get sealed because if you do, you're not going to be able to produce uh, any damage really. All right? Now, unfortunately, I don't know the turn order in this at this point because I haven't gotten far enough in there to really make this worth your time. Unfortunately, I'll probably come back tomorrow, uh, maybe after we've acquired some of the units that, and maybe kind of get you guys a better video on this. But I wanted to get some information out on this tonight so you had the information you need regarding this. Now, enemy resistances. Earth, light, uh, earth and light are both at zero. Thunder resistance is down 70. So you still could use your light magic team. You're just probably not going to produce on the level that you would produce for enemy number one. That's just simply put. Remember, this is a matter of how quickly you can kill these opponents. So if you have a light magic team, you could try it out on this foe. Just I know that mine wasn't as effective. I got better scores with enemy number one. So so try different things, guys. That's kind of the thing. Try, try different team builds and, and see what you can produce. Thunder resistance is down 70%. So thunder would be better. Wind and Dark are both up 20, and Water and Fire are both up 40. Um, you don't want to use Wind, Dark, Water, or Fire. You're basically working uphill. Earth, Light, if nothing else, but Thunder would be preferable. Physical Resistance is neutral. Magic Resistance is down 50%. Take advantage of that. Use a really good Magic team. If you have a Magic Thunder team, great. I don't. Um, and my, I guess my Light team wasn't producing at the same level that it was for enemy number one so like i said here in a few moments we're actually going to go ahead and get the live stream going and try to do a little bit of summoning uh and see if we can get uh some of these units we need for that but that's what you need basically guys uh you need a thunder magic team to really rock this one out all right the enemy is weak to thunder and magic attacks from a strong party with sweet tooth tabby anya and Candied Kitty Chloe. Chloe, I did say from the beginning, was going to be really awesome, so I'm definitely after her. The enemy uses a variety of buff skills, increasing magic resistance, 
strength, endurance, agility, dex, and damage reduction, single target. So in other words, uh, they're just they're they're buffed all over the place. You you need to make sure that you you get rid of those buffs. They're going to decrease your your physical resistance. It's not going to be a huge deal. It just means they're going to produce more damage. That's easy enough to mitigate. You want to do something about that seal, though. Use Chloe's skills to remove them and aim for uh, aim for big damage with critical attacks. In other words, with all those strength and magic resistances up there, you're not going to be able to produce the kind of damage you need. You need someone like Chloe that removes a lot of that stuff. You need strength and magic resistance gone. Endurance, agility, and dex you can deal with, but getting rid of strength and magic resistance is going to be absolutely critical. I figure someone, maybe even if you, if you get desperate and you have to use, like, um, the Winter Haruhime from last year's event. She might be able to pull it off. Uh, just somebody that removes those is going to be really, really, really important. So, guys, that's everything you need to know. I wish I had a good team that I could show you a run with. They, they just are not producing on the level that I would feel confident showing you. Um, you know, let's... Here. I'll tell you what. We'll just go through it with my, with my team from the last run. Uh, like I said, they weren't really terribly effective here, but we can at least get a turn order by doing it this way. So let's do that really quickly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the game here. I actually hadn't intended to do it this way. Oops. As I said, I hadn't intended to do it this way. I thought I had it plugged in, but apparently I do not. And I don't have time to edit this or else this is going to get out after midnight. And I at least want to get this out for you guys. So... Let's go ahead and jump into Familia Royale. And like I said, we're not going to be producing anything worthwhile. Uh, this is literally just going to be a... Just kind of a bash through with the, uh, with the team that we were using last time. With one exception here. And that is I'm going to put uh, seal anklets on everybody here. So let's go ahead and auto-equip everybody with seal anklets. Obviously, I need these two. Oops. There we go. Change equip. And Chigusa as well. There we go. That'll be good right there. And then Haruhime should have a seal anklet. Yes, yeah, she does. Okay, so that's good. So let's go ahead and jump in here. Like I said, seal anklets are going to be really, really, really important to this. Because if she, if they do seal, you're going to hate life. Alright. So let's check out the turn order. Because I honestly haven't paid enough attention to the turn order. And I know that's one of those really critical things you guys are going to need to know getting in here. So let's take a look here. So I'm just doing my buff stack on this turn. Looks like that right there was probably... Yep, that was a seal. So when they do that attack, that is a seal attempt. And then it looks like they hit us with an AoE. So that's turn one. Right out of the gate with that seal. So you've got to make sure you take advantage of that. Also, it looks like we were we were not debuffed. At least not... A, not extensively it looks like we have a debuff and that is the physical resistance actually so right out of the gate with physical resistance and seal uh their agility is not no their agility is up so they're attacking first does that mean that we didn't get our 33 percent sa gauge charge we did okay so that's at least good news there let's go ahead and use her go ahead and get some of these attacks underway There we go. So like I said, at this point, we're just kind of doing our general buff stack. All right, Haruhime, I need you. Uh, yeah. And because of that physical resistance, we need Haruhime right out of the gate. So, yeah, like I said, this, this hasn't been a very good team. You know what? I'm going to have to do too much team modification for this to work, so... It's just not going to be an effective run. Uh, best thing I could recommend for you to do is just watch out for that seal. Be careful. 
I'm going to have to completely retool this team. It's not even going to be able to get very far in here. <clears throat> Pardon me. With all the debuffing they do. So unfortunately, just watch out for that seal. Because like I said, the physical resistance seal comes come right in there at the beginning. Uh, and like I said, unfortunately, I just don't have an optimized team. So if you guys want to help me with that, we'll be live here in just a few moments. Actually, by the time this video goes up, we'll probably be live. Uh, and we'll work on it there. So... Like, comment, share. I'll be back at you guys with more Damachi here really soon. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow we'll have a team that we can work with.